Hi, this is John from Black Cat Gear. Uh, so one of the questions I get a lot of, uh, from people is about uh, baking, baking bread. And uh, I find bread to be really easy to make. I don't know, a lot of people make a big fuss out of it. Uh, so here you have a, a picture of just the dry ingredients. It's a half a cup, one and a half cups of flour, half a teaspoon of yeast, half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, weighs 160 grams. Uh, it'll last a long time. And what I do is the night before I'm going to bake, like let's say I'm going to bake um, for lunch or dinner, um, I mix it up at night, the night before, right before I go to bed, uh, because it's going to be a, a cold water. Usually it's cooler out and it's a slow rise process. Uh, but when it rises, it does produce some gases. And so the next day it's going to look something like this. So let me bring the camera in closer and show you how I set up the pan. I'm going to oil the pan, put parchment paper in and put the dough in. Um, what you do, uh, so you take the dry ingredients and you add very little water. You add as little water as possible and you knead it through the um, Ziploc bag. And uh, don't add too much water because it'll take longer to bake. Add enough water, mix it so you get a nice consistency. And if, if the drier, the better, because in this baking process, it kind of bakes and steams at the same time, so it'll come out fine. Uh, so I'm bring the camera in closer and I'll show you what I do. I always oil the pan. Go to vegetable oil. This is a five inch fat daddy oil pan. I make sure I oil the sides really well. The bottom I oil a little bit because I'm gonna use parchment paper anyway. And parchment paper just makes it easier to, to get out because once once the bread's cooked, you can just run a knife around the sides and with the parchment paper, it'll just pop out. Now I have my bread again. You can see it. It's kind of blown up, but there's my bread. And leave some space again because, you know, it does produce gases. And now if you add just the right amount of water, the dough is actually pretty easy to get out. You just flip it inside out. Now, a lot of times what I do is I put this back in a Ziploc bag and put this like in the head of my backpack and let it rise during the daytime. It'll take probably another hour or so, hour and a half for this to rise to the right height. So as you can see, my bread's risen. Um, I let it go a couple hours. One of the things I've been doing, uh, I sprayed the top of my bread with a little bit of vegetable oil. One of the things I've been doing recently with baking bread is um, down the bottom of my pot, I've added one teaspoon of water. Um, I believe it helps with the rising while it's cooking. So again, I'm using my Epicurean. In this case, the uh, um, let's see, Epicurean. Uh, Yeah, it looks good. All right. We'll come back in about an hour. Be sure to use your flat cat hat. All right. Parchment paper just makes it not stick on the bottom. Ooh, there we go. Hot. Real hot. Golden brown crust. Come visit us at flatcatgear.com. www.flatcatgear.com.